So this three-time NBA champion and Hall of Fame basketball player has a wonderful idea for a new product line. Let's talk about it. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. So, Mr. Dwayne Wade. Of course, we know, like I said in the intro, he is a three-time NBA champion. He is uh, a 13-time NBA All-Star, Finals MVP, and a Hall of Famer, Dwayne Wade. We all know that his, or one of his children, happens to now be part of the Rainbow community named Zaya Wade, okay? Uh, we also know that this individual, this man here, also credits his dad to his fashion sense. I don't know if you remember this. It says here, Dwayne Wade credits his dad for a love of fashion and perfect manicures. Been getting my nails painted since 2007. This was March, of, March 15th. 2024 right and then this article which i will leave a link to it in the description box you might already know about this but we all know that uh Dwayne wade paints his nails he paints his fingernails and toenails okay uh, some of you have seen these pictures they were on the thumbnail for this video uh he frequently flaunts this he has no problem with it and to be fair while i personally wouldn't do it myself it's a free country he can do whatever he wants okay some people think it's, you know, a little bit uh, sus, if you will. But, I mean, to each his own, I'll leave it there, okay? But in any case, uh, he had a, I believe, an interview with the Today Show, if I'm not mistaken. It hasn't come out yet on YouTube, but this is a clip from there where he flashes his nails while he's talking to this young lady who's being interviewed, and she goes on to talk about his nails, all right? So we're gonna get into it. This might be on YouTube, of course. So because this is a clip, it's on a minute long, but I'm gonna uh, give my fair use clause anyway so I don't get copywritten, all right? So before we continue, oh, wait a minute, before I do, for all of you, stop playing the video ninjas. For all of you, stop talking ninjas, okay? Fuck up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> a link will be in the description box for the article I just showed you. And this uh, this uh, X video and another video I'm going to show you from It Is What It Is podcast after this, all right? So, fair use. So, show us the nails. Don't get a close-up of my nails. No? I, listen, I've been on a roll. I'm going to do like this. But we I'm... see a pop of color. Yeah. What was the impetus for it? Expression. Expression. Yeah, expression. You know, I'm, a, I'm creative. I'm expressive. And there's so many ways to do that. Your nails look better than mine. Don't do that. Don't do that. They do. Don't do that. So when are we getting the new manicure? You know, I'm work. I, I'm, I'm working. On, <laughs> I'm thinking about like I'm actually thinking about jumping into the nail line. Like, oh really? World. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Like I've been in it so long, and I'm like, you know what? It could be a good time. But I got some cool ideas that I'm exploring. So this is breaking news. Actually, I need to tell you guys. I've been having some conversations on my own about exploring. I got a couple of ideas and. One of my ideas is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to this is actually sitting down with my daughter and getting my nails painted and painting hers. That's a Now, to be fair, uh, there are a lot of fathers out there that, in, uh, I guess, do the whole thing with their daughters. You know, the daughters, of course, they're, uh, I was saying today's time, sometimes they act feminine this way where they want their dad to paint their nails and kind of engage with them in some of the things that they like to do so you might have a dad that might you know help their daughter paint their fingernails and toenails or do the kind of girly thing with them just to show support for their daughter kind of like uh, to say well kind of be flexible in uh showing them support and love things of that nature when they're young like this painting their toenails or the fingernails or doing like you no know, tea time with them or things like that or helping them play with their dollhouse or whatever so I don't see anything wrong with that personally. And with this, this is commendable. He has a daughter, okay? He has, I think, two or three daughters now, right, with the uh, addition of Zaya. So uh, I don't see anything wrong with this personally, but there have been instances that a lot of people will say in Dwayne Wade's life in recent years where his masculinity is possibly in question due to some things that he likes or the way he likes, the way he says he wants to express himself through fashion, through getting his nails done, or he, he has, takes pictures with his toes done, or maybe the way he dresses. Even sometimes he supports Zaya 
by getting an address or things like that. And we all know he's married to Gabriel Union. There's a lot of uh, conspiracy theories concerning his marriage and things like that, and with actually with Zaya too. But that's another story, right? So, whatever. I mean, that's a, a time that we get to connect. Right. Me doing something that she loves and also that I love. Um, I give her meddies and petties as yeah. well. So show us. So y'all saw that, right? Uh, Dwayne Wade says he has a idea for a new fashion line or a new nail uh, polish line. And because he paints his nails, things like that, and he's been known for that in recent years, is it a good idea for him? Probably so, another way to make money. He's already a Hall of Famer. I'm sure he's getting residuals all over the place. Will this also bring his masculinity into question? Yes, it will, unfortunately, okay? Now, the Is What It Is podcast, come talk to me, all right? If I got it right here, I think. For just $5 a month, please consider becoming a member of Welcome to Normieville. There, you will find access to members-only videos and members-only live streams, as well as a host of other perks. Thank you for your consideration. Back to the video. Uh, I want to show you this clip from the It Is What It Is podcast, all right? I believe this was about two days ago. Now, in this particular episode, at the end of this, this uh, podcast, they bring up Dwayne Wade wanting to promote or thinking about starting a new nail care line, as you can see here in the title. This was at the very end, hour and four minute podcast. This came about the minute, the one hour and three minute mark. Now, she's going to announce this. They want to briefly talk about it before the podcast ends. And Mr. Cameron here is going to walk off the set. Now, before I play this clip, because about uh, 40 seconds, I will have a fair use banner in front of it. I want you to notice what Cameron puts on his shoulder before he walks out, because on X, a lot of people were... Uh, criticizing Cameron for wanting to walk off and not want to talk about Dwayne Wade and his nail care line. Meanwhile, Cameron seems to possibly be sporting a purse or a man bag on his shoulder as he walks off the set, all right? So, check this out. Okay, and then before we go, we got to discuss Dwayne Wade. So, he reveals he's considering creating a nail care line. He oh said one of his favorite pastimes is getting <laughs> manicures with his daughter. <laughs> What happened to get paid, young nigga? Get paid. Get paid, young nigga. Get paid. Maurice, thanks for being here. That's all. Now, you saw that, right? I'm sure you paid attention when they pan the camera back at the whole set and he walks off with, he picks up his bag off the side of the, the stage there at the podium. And then he walks off and it looks similar to a purse. Now again, you know, men are now they're carrying shoulder bags, they're carrying backpacks. I have a shoulder sling bag myself I wear when I'm going into stores and things like that because, you know, men are carrying more things nowadays. All right, I don't want to liken it to a purse, but guys aren't just carrying wallets and keys and cell phones nowadays, right? So, you know, I'm overseas, I have to carry a passport and other things like that. And I don't have a lot of pockets sometimes, right? So I got a little shoulder bag, a little tactical john that I wear when I'm going places, I need to carry more than just, you know, three items, okay? But in today's age, the whole fashion thing, right, is starting to become more metrosexual, if you will. So men are carrying more things that are liking to look like purses and, you know, more feminine uh, accessories, if you will. So uh, y'all let me know down in the comment section what you're thinking about that. But to go back to Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade wants to start a nail care line. I'm sure it'll be profitable. Again, will his masculinity be in question a little bit more with that? Yes, but his masculinity is already in question with his new family dynamic, with his wife, with the way he dresses sometimes, with the way he paints his nails, sometimes the way he acts and carries himself. Eh, I don't know. I mean, more power to him to make money, but it will makes it will it will ultimately give more questions than answers if you get what i mean all right so y'all let me know what y'all think about down in the comment section and with that being said thank you for attending another episode of normieville 
You know me. I'm just over here to bring you the latest anchors in sports news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about Dwayne Wade's wonderful idea and business venture down in the comment section, all right? And please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.